My name is Yusi Martinez. I represent Flamenco de Pueblo Viejo here in Tucson, Arizona. This is video number five in a series on Baile Flamenco. And it's a free series. So tell all your friends, get it out there, feel free to share it. Um, if you recall in video four, we were talking about moving between arm positions. Specifically, we were really talking about between seventh position, which is this. This would be seventh position on each side and through high fifth, or even ninth, if I wanted to bring it a little bit further down, the high fifth would be about here. Now, if you, if you recall, and the movement from high fifth, if you recall, is down the side of the body and up the center line, okay? So, today we're gonna to talk about spinal rotation. Now, spinal rotation is very important to give you dynamic, body shaping dynamic. It would get pretty boring if I did everything flat to the screen. Or if I'm doing seven, for example, flat, this arm almost looks like a dot because from your perspective, because you can't see the length of my arm. Well, the way to fix that is to use spinal rotation. Now, spinal rotation is not turning my whole body. See how my hips are going from corner to corner? That's not what you want. You want to stabilize the hips. They can move a little bit, but for the most part, they're stable. Spinal rotation is moving upper spine independent of where the pelvis is, independent of the lower half. So you need to learn to isolate lower and upper. Um, sometimes it helps if you take your feet apart just a little bit. That gives you a little more stability and a little more to push against. It's a little easier to rotate the spine. Now you might find yourself going like this with the shoulders or when you're doing your arms, simply circling your arms out this way in a swooping motion. And that's uh, sometimes how spinal rotation is perceived because uh, they don't see that it's happening from the core first. So I'm gonna teach you how to work from the core out. So let's go ahead and put our feet together. We're gonna go seventh position. If you recall, getting from one side to the other means going my hands in line with my center line, going straight to my hip. This one from the hip, straight to the center line, back and forth. Now, go ahead and take seven position on one side and then rotate the spine just a little bit. Suddenly you can see the length of my arm, this arm is still pushing forward. I make sure it doesn't get back behind me. It's still aligned with the side of my body here. Now you actually have dimension. It's a little more interesting than this, okay? So if I'm gonna go from one side to the other, this hand goes to the hip. I rotate the spine to this side this hand goes directly off the hip. So if I do it smoothly, it looks like this. I do both hands simultaneously. This one comes back, this one comes off. From center line to hip, hip to center line. Back and forth. And if you get smooth at it, work on the sharpness. Now, focus is important too. I don't want to keep completely flat with my focus the whole time. So as an expressive tool, I want to take my focus over my leading shoulder. Uh, when I say shoulder, I don't mean all the way over here. I mean somewhere in this range, the, the length of your collarbone, somewhere in there. Okay, so I'm here or there. That's not to say we always change our focus, but you want to use focus change for dynamic and to keep things interesting in the bite. Now that's something we'll tackle later on, but I just wanted to mention because it's important. So that's how you get from seventh to seventh using spinal rotation. Now, if we're talking about high fifth, so you recall, down the side of the body, up the center line. This is what it looks like when it's flat. Not quite as interesting as if you put some spinal rotation in there. So spinal rotation would be, for example, me rotating my spine this way, keeping all the same tenets in place. Arm comes down the side of the body and up the middle, center line. To this side, down the side of the body, in line with the side of the body, and up the center line to the top. And then flat. Quite a bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and try that same thing with our feet slightly apart just for a little more uh, lower body stability. It makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to rotate, come down the side, come up the middle, and switch down the side up the middle. Now if you wanted to go between those two things smoothly, it would be this. I 
I switch as my arm's coming up the center line to go from one side to the other. Okay, so practice that spinal rotation by putting your feet together, hands on the chest, shoulder blades down, elbows up, without twisting your hips. Just see how far you can get. As long as I keep my hands facing to my chest, I won't be cheating by doing this. I actually have to use my back to move the whole piece. Like so. Practice that, in the next video we'll talk about using the focus.